Get this thing on, you hi. Okay, uh, he's on. Okay, hey, good stuff. Yeah, oh, is it? Ugh, okay, whatever. Yeah, hi. Alright, folks, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late night, or whatever the fuck it is. NXT, or something? What is it? NXT, TakeOver, whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. There's so many TakeOvers. Fucking never. Like, guess that's what's the thing. That's the purpose of calling a TakeOver. Because we're taking over this bullshit. Where the fuck? I'm taking over your asshole. Like, whatever. Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. NXT TakeOver Chicago. It's like the second Chicago. I don't fucking know. Review. Um. Yeah. I slept through the whole fucking day today, by the way. So I missed, like, the, most of the show. Because, like, I was so fucking tired from the festivities. Um. If you guys didn't know, yeah, I'm an American Muslim, American nationalism for fuck's sakes, and yeah, you know, I went out and had some fun, I guess, with the family and bullshit, but with all that fun, because here's the thing, I was up all night on Thursday doing what I had to do, and I stayed up all day on Friday, so I was so tired, I didn't sleep for like 24 fucking hours, and when I came home, I slept for like the whole fucking day, I guess, because I needed of energy. So yeah, I was so fucking tired. Um, yeah, so I woke up what, like 9.30 something, and I woke up like just before the main event ha happened, so... I guess, yeah, that was cool, I guess. So yeah. So, you know, but you know what I gotta do, people? You know what I had to do when I, when I fucking, when I woke up? I had to do this, and because I did not even have a wine, like, you know, wine glass is for special occasions, like a review. But literally, I had to drink from a wine glass tonight. You know, cause I'm like fine. I guess that was like Zubair. You you are fine, man. You just like fine wine. That's why you need to drink this soda in a wine glass for fuck's sake. So you know what? You know I t I took this fucking soda. I took this cold, nice Coca Cola. Pour in this wine glass. And I said, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, fuck yeah. Like I do all the fucking bitches like traveling and bullshit. Whoever the fuck. It doesn't matter what, what kind of bitch you are. Of course you got. I have fine standards for fuck's sake. You know. It was good stuff, and that's what I did, like, make you go, oh shit, oh shit, and you know, when you fit to my standards, you'll be having a good time. It's good stuff. Mm. It's like fine wine, man. It's good stuff. Like, just look at this glass, people. It's just fucking great. Nice, stylish, nice physique. The greatest physique in the world. And, you know, it's good stuff, for fuck's sakes. It really makes you go, oh shit, in a way. Okay, I'm just making sure. This is just too flattered, right? I, I don't know. I don't want to fall. This is why. I don't fucking know. Maybe should I put it in my. Nah, nah, nah. My cock doesn't know. My cock doesn't match. This is my, my fucking, you know. It's not like. Probably, it's pretty size too big for this fucking wine glass, man. It's not even too. It's just as big as this, you know, for my big black cock. Oh shit, oh shit, fuck yeah. I you know? So yeah. So when this tea happened, then no one gave a fuck, except, of course, the fucking retards that have no lives to watch this, you know, so they watch this crap. I watched, like, okay, so I watched the last, ma like, well, I watched the last match, me even the street fight, and then I proceeded to watch, like, I don't know, the other stuff later, because I just, I don't know, I just want to see, I guess I was seeing, what, well, what, why do people keep saying this is good and crap? But to come to my disappointment, of course it was bad. Why did I waste my fucking time? I don't know why. And I, I don't even give a shit about it in the first place. So the first match, the, the Undisputed Gay Era, where the fuck defeated um, Oni Larkon and da Danny Birch. Who the fuck are these guys? So apparently what I've seen, they're like from some British jobbers or whatever fuck. Again, who gives a shit? No one cares about these. This, the, the gay era. No one cares about fucking... These UK fuckers, and why the fuck are you doing another UK tournament? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking care. None of these motherfuckers can fuck a bitch on Big Black House. These, the, the UK fuckers look like they could, they could just join the Honest Few Era, and I wouldn't tell the dis difference, because I don't fucking care. They look like they were gonna have a gay orgy in the fucking match, so who can't give a shit? They might as well just have, go on to have a foursome gay orgy in the fuck during the match, and I don't care. And that's what the match kind of looked like. It looked like a fuck, some fucking gay orgy because they're a bunch of fucking faggots. Straight up. I don't give a shit. Oh, you just don't care about the athleticism. I don't care. I don't fucking care. And this was probably a match that no one gave a fuck about. No story. No one cares. Who cares? Second match. 
Ricochet. Yeah, I call him Ricochet. Because, yeah, isn't that edgy? Or fuck yeah, but, you know, whatever. I don't give a shit about this fucking asshole. Defeated Development Team Dream. Why is Patrick Clark a gay character for fuck's sake? Why is he gay? Why is he, like, what? Is he the one of these fucking LGT motherfucking characters that Debbie wants? Oh, he's done a for me gay. I don't give a shit. I don't care. Okay, if you're just remotely too gay, you are gay for fuck's sake. You know, this ain't go. This shit ain't gonna get get bitches fucking you in a big black couch. I'm just saying, you know. So I don't care about uh, uh, this guy. And yeah, he he looked like yeah, he looked like he could teach like counting charisma and bullshit. But who cares? It's fucking gay. It's garbage. I don't care about gay choppers. Oh, you're discriminating against gays? How dare you? It's 2018. I don't give a fuck if it's 2018. It's just another fucking year. It's just a fucking different year. I don't care if it's 2018. I don't care that it's all masculine to be, to be gay. I don't care. Fuck gays. Okay, I don't... Okay, okay, this is fun. I don't know. I don't hate gays. Trust me, I don't hate gay people. But, like, in wrestling, why are we adding the infatuate ourselves to with gay characters. Why? Why do you have to have gay characters in wrestling, for fuck's sakes? It's fucking gay! It's stupid! It's garbage! It's retarded! Wrestling's supposed to be a masculine man fucking, you know, being badasses and fucking rough. You know, being the fucking, you know, being people up and shit. And cool heels. You know? It's not supposed to be this fucking gay shit. And oh, I can enjoy them just rolling around each other 45 fucking minutes. Like, I don't care about, no one cares about this gay, stupid, boring, technical wrestling bullshit. No one wants that crap. I don't know, a lot of fucking smarts here probably watch this crap, because they're like, they so in love in NXT, and if they see an NXT review that is like, I don't know, negative and crap, they'll just go get, get offended. And I understand that's what happened. I understand that's the case, but I don't give a shit, because I speak motherfucking truth. No one's gonna watch this crap. This is why the ratings are in the ones, people. Like, here's the thing, I was gonna, let me talk about this crap, let me talk before, like, I don't know, I'll probably talk about it in the end of the video, actually, hold on a second, uh, do, 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 do. okay, so, what is it, the fucking dirt match, what, where's the fucking, I'm so out of place, I don't care, yeah, no one cares about, okay, oh no, actually, I'm not done yet, so yeah, Rico, yeah, that fucking Rico shit, one crap. Why do you have Ricochet? Why? Why do you have to have this flippy, floppy fucking fuckhead? Like, why? Oh, yeah, listen here, fuckhead. Like, I don't know why I said that, but fuck the fuckhead, I don't care. But, you know, him and that um, real Osprey guy that had that fucking flippy bullshit that happened or crap, crap, but that made him say, wrestling is an art. Wrestling is not a fucking art. It's a fake bullshit crap. Wrestling is fake. Oh, boy, it's scripted. You're just saying the fame, same fucking shit by saying it's scripted is fake. It means fake. No one cares about great fees that lives in bullshit. If you want that crap again, go watch a circus, go watch ballet, like the good old announcer himself, good old JR. You guys like love JR or, or for like, you guys, okay. People click, like, of course, I love JR. Love this commentary, love everything. But you guys, that you fucking retard smarts that claim that, oh, you love JR, but you were, yeah, you were probably watching wrestling since like yesterday or whatever the fuck, the fuck, and then watch wrestling when it was actually good. You were probably like, you know, you know, whatever the fuck. You were probably watching My Little Pony or whatever, some gay bullshit, and then, it, 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 and then just for some reason, you found Raw. For Fox sake, you found Raw, you thought it was some good show because you were seeing fucking hairless Smith just do drop kicks or whatever the fuck and decided to become a fan of wrestling for Fox sake. Because you probably were fans of wrestling after wrestling 29 and bullshit. I know I'm quoting fucking other people, I know I'm quoting a smart person and crap, but who cares? I'm a hack. I admit it, I'm a fucking hack for Fox sakes. But for Fox sakes, that's literally, literally the case because they claim they love JR and crap, but yet they don't care like what the saying that JR has said wrestling isn't ballet, and now we're wrestling all full of fucking ballet dancers doing wrestling moves and crap and being in the wrestling company. Now we have to if if we have to deal with this bullshit, it's garbage, and that's what Ricochet is. He's a ballet dancer along with old Osprey or he, all these fucking flat. Faggy jobbers that deserve to do fucking ballet or circus. Like, just like Finn Balor, Daniel Bryan, wherever the fuck. And now they're in the fucking companies. Garbage. Ay, ay, ay. 
Like, literally, I can make a video saying who deserves to be in ballet or a circus. And literally, most of the fucking roster deserves to do fucking ballet or the circus. Because that's what they're best at doing. This is professional wrestling. It's about characters and stories. Not just about wrestling, tickle rules, wrestling bullshit. It's really not. I'll explain more of that later. Ay, ay, ay. And this guy literally doesn't have a character in crap. Who was there to like a ricochet? I don't care if The Rock said, oh, he likes Ricochet. Like, okay, that's his that's his opinion. But I don't give a shit because I don't like the guy. He represents everything wrong with wrestling. For fuck's sakes. And this is why, like, you get all these fucking retards saying, oh, do you rather watch Brave Feats of Athleticism while men doing flippy shit for no reason rather than actual wrestlers with stories and characters. It's, it's crap. And yeah, like... And yeah, this is another indie guy that says, Oh, I can't scratch and crawl. Like, no one cares about what you did for the past 15 years. No one cares what you did. No one cares where you came. No one cares. No one cares that you scratched and crawled and you're saying you're happy to be here. No one cares. Holy fuck. Everyone worked hard for fuck's sakes. Oh, you're saying Robert Reyes worked hard? Yeah, he did. Why you wonder why he's the big you why he's the main main guy? Because of course Yossi works hard for it. Everybody like sure I fucking complain about every fucking wrestler in rallies, but yeah they do work hard even though they don't work their hard enough to entertain me. But for a fuck's sake, every fucking wrestler that has been in the fucking company worked hard. So you're not special. Holy fuck. And yeah, fucking uh, what happened? And yeah. Yeah, whatever the fuck. Apparently, apparently the, yeah, the whole thing about this fucking match is that Velveteen Dream was against Ricochet being an indie wrestler, yet he fucking loses. He fucking loses, yet he hates midges, and uh, it's so fucking stupid. Like, this whole. Yeah, they try to be. They try to ha incorporate anti smart promos and crap, or characters, but yet they make them lose to indie wrestlers. Cause, uh, that. Yeah. It's fucking retarded. Let's be honest here, people. The smart, the smarty fans are actually a minority, okay? If you want to know why, why that's true, just look at the ratings themselves. So that's why the ratings are so, in the ones. If you actually cater to, like, say, like, more... Okay, I'm not saying, like, yeah, anti-smart fucking thing in general, calling anybody an anti-smart is fucking retarded itself, because I hate the fucking phrase. But for fuck's sakes, if you want to actually appeal to, like, the, you know, casual bullshit, I'm not saying I'm a casual, but I'm not. I'm really not. But for fuck's sakes... That's what, let's be honest, that's what people write, like, the casuals. That's how you're gonna incorporate the casuals. If you wanna, uh, you know, get more viewers and crap, you know, you, you shouldn't be pushing indie guys for fuck's sakes. And that's what's going on, it's retarded. He said that, who's gonna even give a shit about Velveteen Dream? He's a fucking gay asshole, no one cares. So yeah, Ricochet won, who cares? And it was just, uh, I don't fucking know. I didn't care about the match. No one cares about Diva shit, that was the third match, I don't know, f that fucking she-male fucking, what, Chanel ba Blazer, I don't fucking know, defeated Nikki Cross, I don't fucking care about she-hulk shit, I don't care. Fourth match, Aleister Black defeats Lord Sullivan. I actually do like Aleister Black, despite, oh, he's a midget, you know, at least he has a character somewhat, he has a, sub a somewhat satanic character that was... It, you know, that works for him, I guess. Again, the problem is the guy just does kicks. He literally does kicks all the fucking time. I don't even think he didn't move in this match. And then the guy literally does kicks. That's the problem. Like, that also helps the problem with wrestling nowadays that everybody just does kick kicks. Or just different styles. No one cares. There's always, always been one style in wrestling. And that is wrestling for fuck's sakes. You actually wrestle for fuck's sakes when you do and crap. There's no such thing as a styles or whatever crap. No one cares. There's always been one style. It's been ever since the 80s and crap. Oh, you forgot there's been wrestling in the, in the 40s like Luke, George Hackenschmidt or Luke Gotch. Who cares? I don't care. Ay, ay, ay. And yeah, Lost Sullivan. I actually became a fan of, I actually became a fan of this guy. Yeah, this guy actually seems like, okay. Lost Sullivan. He actually was doing like power moves. He was doing moves and crap. Seems like maybe a possible threat. I don't fucking know. But yeah, the guy lost to a midget. Like it doesn't help. Like it doesn't make any sense. Like let's say if let's say 
Alice the Black, he actually does like cool moves and crap on just fucking kit. And if that works with the satanic character, then yeah, I would be okay with Alice the Black winning. I don't mind Alice the Black, but just like whatever. I don't care, honestly. I really don't care. It's better than having that fucking CN jobber as a champion anyway. But I do miss that Zelena Vega though. I do miss Zelena Vega and a fucking hot ass, so you know, it's good stuff. I'll fuck the Lane Vega, my big black cow's finger drawing. Oh shit, oh shit. And definitely, I'm not watching that she. Yeah, that's another reason. I'm not watching that fucking She Hulk bullshit. I'm not watching that fucking Divas match. Because I don't care about. Oh, you're calling through them Divas? Since when, oh, since when did Divas became the fucking bad word and shit? Like, why is it bad word in wrestling? You're always still being revealing as Divas. Who cares? I don't care about women's wrestling, okay? I'm not watching that. Like, that shit ain't fucking as high as my love for track. Let's just say. Fifth match, the main event. Ciampa versus Gargano. Gargano represents everything wrong with wrestling. Seriously. This guy is literally... What the fuck is Gargano, for fuck's sake? A smiling goof midget that does fucking kicks and crap. And he's called Johnny Wrestling. He's called Johnny Wrestling and while having a fucking girl's theme song, for fuck's sake. Like the guy, like the guy should be like, like, like my fucking boy Metal Jim asked. Fire shout to Metal Jim. I know the guy hasn't made videos in like a while. He, not what I was saying, not what I was saying, a while. He hasn't made videos in like years. And he said he was going to come back, but then unfortunately, I guess he's not coming back, people, because the guy left. He's not even watching Russ anymore. We're like, fuck, fuck. That's why you guys are losing ratings, because no one cares about this fucking bullshit. And that's what NXT is about. It's about all the stupid bullshit in wrestling. You know, I know I'm reviewing this bullshit. But for fuck's sake, I'm trying to, I'm trying to cleanse the problem of the voice of the voiceless. <laughs> it's all stupid saying that bullshit. Holy fuck. But yeah. Like seriously, the guy should be delivering newspapers. Why are, why is he called Johnny Wrestling? Oh, that's his nickname in the, who cares? Who fucking cares? Everybody fucking wrestles. What makes him special? Being called Johnny Wrestling. For fuck's sake. Like, I wish the guy just drinks a glass of acid juice or whatever the fuck. He, like, acid age filled with fucking sperm. How about that? Ay, ay, ay. Him and his fans literally represent everything wrong wrestling. Like, they're saying, oh, he's the top baby face now in wrestling. How? Who fucking cares? How is he the top baby face of the company? Fuck, who cares? Like, literally, this guy? Just look at the guy. How is he the face? Why should he be in the first place? And yeah, that was first, like, literally, this guy has, like, gay fans for him. Crap, I don't fucking know why. And plus two, like, during the match with fucking... Oh, yeah, that was, like, this match and backing the fucking takeover match, the last takeover. Literally, his fans were saying to the fucking champ, you deserve this or whatever the fuck. They were literally like, oh, yeah, sure, you know, you should hate on the heels. That's great, you know, like, that's what you what wrestling used to be. It wouldn't be this gay shit that they would cheer the heels and boo the faces. At least, yeah, they're cheering the heels, but they're cheering for gay faces and she and they're fucking doing the heel like sure okay whatever the fuck but they're actually like want they actually want the guy to get hurt like champa because what you're, you're so in love with gargano like what the, it's just retarded is gay oh yeah yeah I, this was better than our last match i will say this this match was better than their last takeover match was definitely more of a fucking hardcore unsanctioned bullshit or a fucking their last match Definitely this was way better. I would say this is better than Okada versus Omega. Yeah, a lot of fucking... This was actually... I saw this on Facebook that there was this guy that said this was better than Okada and Omega. And I agree. Because that's what wrestling's supposed to be about. It's, yeah, sure. I'll say this. It has some sort of storyline going on that, yeah, best friends now bear rivals or fuck. I guess that's cool. You know, that's something, you know? Like, it was... You know, that's good. And I agree, it is better than fucking Okada Mega, you know, because it had a story, it had actual character, like, you know, it's something, it was good. Actual storytelling or fuck, and it was cool, they were doing hardcore shit, no one cares about actual fucking technical bullshit, no one cares about technical wrestling, no one really does it, oh my god. Oh, we had no technical work rate, it's not an actual wrestling match, or whatever the fuck, like, who cares, it was an, a better technical re wrestling match, who cares? No one cares about tech wrestling. It's fucking bo boring. Just like what fucking bu Bully Ray said. Or Bubba Ray, whatever the fuck. I agree. Tech wrestling is fucking boring. Unless they've actually, like, actual great wrestlers like Kurt Angle and shit. Like, sure, you know? 
like, you know, Kurt Angle, Ric Flair, Shawn Michaels, yes, great wrestlers. They were great technical wrestlers were fucked. But here's the thing. Those were, like, they had more going on with them being just technical wrestlers and cool bullshit. They combined storytelling, they combined with fucking, with their, with their skills and wrestling and crap. They compared, yeah, they also, like, you know, they told a story where the fuck, you know. They had a story, actual stories going on. They were great characters, so that's why people cared about their fucking stupid technical wrestling bullshit. Okay? But here's the thing. I remember, fucking Shawn Michaels versus Kurt Angle. WrestleMania 21, that was a great match. Definitely a great match. But it, the problem is, yeah, it started what? Like, technical wrestling? No one cared about the match until it started go, b building up to be a better match. Okay? No one cares about, like, it was like five minutes of technical wrestling. Then it, the match got way better. You know? That shows an example that sometimes technical wrestling is not, is not what people want and care about. Because this technical wrestling is because no one cares. It's just them rolling around each other and bullshit. You know? People actually want to see fights. They want to see fucking hardcore bullshit. Not fucking this fucking sports crap, okay? That's why people don't care about amateur wrestling. Sure, we had great amateur wrestlers that became great stars like Kurt Angle, Brad Fester, but they did shit. They did cool crap. Alright? So I, that's why I don't. That's why I agree that no one cares about Okada and Omega except the fucking retard smarts that love Ju New Japan or whatever the fuck. Oh, and plus it was a long match. Who cares if that match was fucking long? This is this is a match example that yeah. Just because it was like kind of long, this is a match example. This match was like thirty minutes. It didn't need to be an hour to be good. Sure, it was like kind of long enough, but that's what it should at least be. And shit was going on. You know, long matches doesn't equivalent like, to some great matches for Foxy. It just doesn't. It really doesn't, people. Because that, that's that you get some boring shit going on. You know. And the reason why this what match was long and still good because cool shit was happening for Foxy. You know, like hardcore crap. They were using weapons. They fought in the crowd. You know, it was cool. You know. They redid the fuck what happened last year with fucking Champa fucking tossing Gargano. They he, he did the same shit and then did a knee, but then, Gar like he was no that was Champa, but Gargano he did the fucking thing instead where he did the fireman carrying position, through the slam through the tables. That was cool too. I give Gargano that, you know he did put up a good match tonight and yeah, cool shit happened. But that's the thing, you can only wrestle like wrestle people that's like the same height as them or the same weight, you know? That's what the problem with wrestling is. Like, you get wrestlers that are, like, Finn Balor in a main event. Like, why? You know? Because they can't do shit. Like, put them in the cruiserweight division crap. But now you got 205 weight, which is stupid, for fuck's sake. It ends with fucking Gargano doing his submission, but then fucking Chap- uh, then, like, the security got involved, but then Chap, he did, like, the DDT. The fence is Orton DDT or a fuck. Do the fucking exposed rate ring apron, and then that's how he won by the DDT. It's pretty cool. I'll I'll take it. I like Tommaso Ciampa in a way, I guess. I like him way better than fucking Gargano. I'm glad he won and shit. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So I give that him that overall the show, like probably two matches that I kind of was okay with. The match with fucking Alice the Black and Lars Sullivan was okay. It was an okay match, but this match was literally match of the night. You know. The main event. It was literally match of the night, and it was way better than their last takeover match. That was this was definitely more of an unsanctioned match for a Chicago Street Fight. So it was way better. I'll say that. That's good. It's good. They kind of redid themselves, making it better. So I'll give them that. So overall, I guess I'll say that, um, just try to be generous and stay away from the smart hater bullshit. But I'll say I'll say the show was okay. Yeah, it's better than watching a fucking takeover show that's pre-taped. And yeah, the takeovers are better than the than pre-taped bullshit or fuck, then, you know. But, whatever. But I ain't gonna lie. Shit like this, like, throughout the show. That's why wrestling is garbage, people. You know? All the stupid shit that, like, the fucking tag match, the fucking ricochet, whatever the fucking, this fucking divas bullshit. No one cares. Um... Someone, someone on fucking E told me, 
Why don't I don't like wrestling and whatever the fuck? They told me why I, th why I hate wrestling, why I hate John Cena or in the sense who was we were just talking about wrestling for some reason. I actually did a vlog. For some fucking reason, I did a vlog. And I, I don't know why I just felt like it. I wanted to bring my life into the fucking bullshit, but I did like a vlog. And I should have filmed this, but I unfortunately did not film this. And they asked me why you... I'll probably mention this later on, but I did not fucking... Yeah, I did not film this crap, unfortunately. But they act like it was like five minutes at not five minutes, but it's just like lost than that. They asked me well, all that bullshit and crap. I told them like, yeah, wrestling sucks. I told them John Cena and Gordon are they're like garbage and helped kill wrestling because that's true. That's why fucking people don't care about wrestling now because all the fans that were fans of the Attitude and Ruthless Aggression era, fucking, that's why fans started like not watching anymore crap because all this fucking stu stupid Cena or Orton crap for fuck's sakes. There's stupid robbery that was based on nothing in the first place. And then the Cena, and then the, yeah, the, the guy who's like 14 years old that me, me and I had a debate. He was like 14 for fuck's sakes. And then like, I understand because the guy was got offended when I bashed Cena for fuck's sakes. And I understand like, yeah, you're 14 because he's the thing. 14 years old, old kids grown up with John Cena. So I can't, I can't take back what, I can't fucking, you know, because that's what he grew up on for fuck's sakes, you know? He didn't grow up with fucking Rock, Austin, Cena, and Tate. Like, he didn't grow up with fucking the cool wrestlers or crap. He grew up with Cena, you know? He grew, that's why... He, he probably grew up in the PG era of wrestling, so who cares, you know? Like, the guy was fucking, like... I can't I can't give you what I had. Oh, but you were born in 1999. At least I fucking went back and watched that bullshit, okay? Fuck off. The guy probably, you know, he can't... He didn't... You know, he's 14, you know? So I understand why I should not really argue with the kid. But he got offended because I said Cena sucks. And he said, oh, but Cena, I'll talk The Rock. He's a great talker. Since when did that shit happen? Since when Cena, I'll talk The Rock. Hell fucking no. And then, yeah, fucking better, like, fucking better, he's a great talker? Hell no. His promo sucks. Except, like, yeah, if he, I don't fucking know. He's like, sure, whatever. And then, yeah, he said, and then I told him, like, Shisuke represent everything wrong with wrestling, especially, you know. My hatred for Japanese wrestling, and they said, but Shinsuke is a great technical wrestler. So I proceeded to do a little rant, which should have been on YouTube. I should have fucking filmed it, which I regret now. And yeah, I, I told him that no one cares about technical wrestling. It's boring. I don't. No one cares about the actual wrestling part. And then he said that, oh, but it's professional wrestling. It's wrestling the title. Yeah, sure. Wrestling is that supposed, but here's a thing. Yeah, sure it says wrestling, but here's a thing. Professional wrestling is actually one of those things that doesn't mean what it actually means. It's actually, like, that's why he's given the name also sports entertainment, people. Because it's also, what matters more is the stories and characters. Because that's what's going to make people care about the actual wrestling matches, people. It's not all about fucking wrestling matches. Because that shit gets boring. It's, especially when it's fucking fake and scripted, for fuck's sake. Do you understand? And yeah. That's why I have to argue about fucking Shinsuke, Taker, Cena, and, and wrestling in general. And I wish I fucking filmed that for like a vlog I did. I don't even know if I'm actually gonna upload it because I don't know. I just thought it's like a shitty vlog. It's not shitty, shitty, but it's just like, do I really want to show this fucking crap to the people? I don't fucking know. Let me know if I should upload the vlog and crap, and I'll fuck write the whole description of what happened through that wrestling discussion description. So yeah, again, I'm the reason why fuck if I remember that. I got the big muscles, I got the big ass, I got a big black couch to fuck your bitch, my muscle couch, and I can drink this on my glass and make it for me. That's why I'm the reason why I'm fucking. Because I speak the truth. I don't like what I say about NXT, well I gotta see what I gotta say. And yeah. You know, that's all I really don't gotta say. I don't know. I might do a hangout tomorrow for Money and Bank, and... Do a review after that. And yeah, happy Father's Day or fuck if you, you know, whatever. It's what it is. Good stuff. Till next time. Peace. Yeah, bye.